Now, when a piece of technology is disruptive, it means it can do three things. It can do things faster, it can do things better, it can do things cheaper. Every time you have a combination of that, you have disruptive technology. And if you think about everybody saying it will take our jobs, it will take our jobs, it will take... It is not here to take our jobs. It is here to augment what we are doing. Artificial intelligence is a bit like an engine of a car for instance. Now, the engine is powerful, but unfortunately, the engine by itself cannot do anything. You need to put it in something, and the human needs to, you know, control it. So that's the, um, the whole thing with artificial intelligence. It's just putting intelligence that humans have generated over years. So your intelligence, my intelligence, you know, her intelligence, you now put it in a piece of software, on a piece of, you know, machine can now do things faster, can find patterns, can find things that you and I cannot even you know, find. So when people say, oh, it's going to take over my jobs, no, it is not. AI by itself, you as, um, like um, 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 Mr. Amos said here, it is going to, if you're in accounting, now it is going to help you in your accounting functions a lot better. If you're a medical doctor, it is going to help you do things a lot better. Better. If you're a lawyer, it's going to help you do things a lot better. That is simply what artificial intelligence is. It is disruptive and it's just a bit like the internet.